What is going on guys? Black Panther here once again. Welcome to another Drive Club video. Now, today what I want to do is drive on Bandipur. It's in India, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Don't take my word for it, but I wanted to drive the GTA Spano. Now, this thing, I can't remember. There's only literally one game that I've driven this in. I think it was Rivals, was it? It might have been Rivals. So obviously I didn't get a really good feel for the car, so I think today we should do, 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 redo just that. Did he press the badge to open the door? That is freaking awesome. Did, is that a thing? Is that a thing on this car? Because if, if it is, holy crap. <laughs> that is a brilliant idea and I really, really like that. And if I made a car, I'd probably now steal that idea. Sorry, GTA Spano. Anyway, let's go on to the track here. So I'm actually here today because I tried this track online the other day and good god it was a lot of fun. It's got a lot of little corners and a lot of like random things like oh my god, oh my god. Online it becomes a massive mess usually. So here we are with the GTA Spano. Error connecting to the drag club servers as soon as I get on but good god this... This sounds pretty damn nice. When it gets to the higher end of the gear, there's like a massive whining and... I'll let you listen to it for a second with all the smashing sounds. That sounds pretty damn nice, doesn't it? Oh, crap. Thought I was going to spin it then. But, uh, yeah, so I haven't really been playing a lot of Drive Club recently. That's mainly because I've been playing Sunset Overdrive. And I've been playing a lot of Forza because I've got a lot of content planned on that. Because, let's face it, uh, having a track-based racer isn't necessarily very... There isn't a lot of variation you can do. It's I have found that the gameplay is more fun on Drive Club, like I've said in, in past videos and such. But... Uh, because it's a track-based racer, I don't want to keep throwing, you know, the same thing of me trying a new car, driving around a circuit. Yeah, he did it. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? It's it's just more I can do more on for videos on Horizon 2. But if you guys want to see Drive Club, here it is. I'm going to be bringing you a lot of it because I've been having a lot of fun playing the game myself in my free time. And hello, BAC Mono, I'm going to take you out, Marusha. Marusha. Marusha, you have been taken. Your place is gone. It's mine now. This is how we do it. Oh, shite! It sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Like, <laughs> literally like a vacuum cleaner. Not in an insulting way like Gran Turismo, but if, if you hear a vacuum cleaner on Drive Club, it's not insulting. It's actually saying, this thing sounds insane. <laughs> it sounds absolutely crazy. And another car that sounds really, really crazy is obviously the Zonda R, this Hennessy Venom. Yeah, everything sounds amazing uh, when you get higher end and on the scale on this game. But uh, one thing that sounds kind of unique is the uh, the Pagani Wira. Now that thing, that thing sounds like a, a jet-powered Hoover. I don't know, it's really weird when you're in the cockpit view. And then in the back, it's just like a roaring tiger. It's freaking awesome. I should really go into the rear view so we can actually hear what this sounds like outside. Not that you should ever drive in the rear view on Drive Club, right? But here we go. Do you know what it reminds me of? It actually reminds me of pretty much every race car ever. <laughs> when you hear a race car drive past, that's exactly what it sounds like. Oh my god! That is some intense speed. Holy, don't lose it. We managed to control it better than when we were going slower. I think that says something about my very odd driving ability. Which is that apparently I can drive better at more intense speeds. But then again, I wasn't commentating as... as I wasn't thinking of what to commentate about at the same time. Oh my god. I just did what I did, bro. Snap it round. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. That was a decent slide if I didn't mess that up there. He's going to try and take me. He's going to try and take me. He's going to try and take me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do that. Please. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, as I was saying, the only other game that I've really driven this in is Need for Speed Rivals, I think. Uh, I was clueless to the car existing since it was in Rivals. Yes, it was in Rivals. I remember 100% now. Because it was in the movie pack, wasn't it? And I remember it being the movie, I think. I think it was. 
But uh, yeah, I remember this car being in that. That's literally the first time I was introduced to this car. It was about a year ago on Rivals. So, hey, Rivals did some good, right? <laughs> um, but I think it's an interesting car. As you can see from this video, it sounds pretty damn awesome. And it's very, very unique, odd shape. And I quite like that about this car. Oh my god. Sliding through there. Now that's what you call a power slide. Because I was literally accelerating, powering through the slide. Get it? Get it? Understand now? Good. I think every time I play this game, I appreciate the graphics more and more. I've been playing a lot of GTA 4. Re uh, GTA 4. GTA 5. I keep saying GTA 4. GTA 5 recently. And looking at all the jaggies and stuff on that game, it's like, good god, yeah, there's a difference this generation. Because <laughs> people are like, oh, there's not much of a generation gap from, like, the PS2 to the PS3. That was the biggest gap ever. And you go back and it's like, no, it's, it's not really that big. They, they up the resolution output, but the textures were still, like, PS2 textures. This is, like, a whole other level of textures and trees. <laughs> textures and tree count, that's how we figure out how much performance a game uses today. That's how it does. Look, I don't even believe this. I haven't even mentioned it yet, but on the dashboard, there's actually a camera. You've probably been like, Theo, there's a ca dash cam. You liked that in the other ca Why are you not mentioning it? Theo, talk about it, please. But yeah, I, I always love little dash cams. Freaking best invention ever. Because it saves me a job of looking upwards. I literally looked up with my own eyes. I don't know why. Um... Oh my god! Don't kill me! And it saves me going like that. Oh yes, this is my department. Oh yeah, yeah, this is. And I don't have to do that. Because, well, if my window's broken, so I can't really see very clearly anyway. <laughs> I really do wish they had Project Morpheus support for this though. Just think like, a wheel, Project Morpheus having like a seat that moves around best driving game ever, especially with the physics on this game, where, like, where your car jumps about like absolutely crazy, and if it actually reacted in the seat, it'd be like, oh my god, this is like the best thing ever. Don't mess it up on the last bit, Theo. Come on, power. Power. Don't allow these peasants to overtake now. Good. Careful, 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 careful. And power out of here. Maintain control of that wheel. I can't wait to play this with force feedback. Like fighting against that with force feedback. That's going to be like the best thing ever. Can't wait to share that experience with you guys as well. With wheel cam. That's right. It's coming. It's coming. Don't you worry. Oh God. Don't lose it. Oh God. Don't lose it. Finish. Yes. GTA Spano completes the event. Awesome. That is a really nice car, I must say. And these guys are rolling in here. Let's see if we got any brothers in here. I think we had one. Yeah, there's a GTA Spano there. There's one car that I haven't seen on this list yet. And for some reason, that's kind of odd. The F12. Can't wait to drive that. We're going to be driving that to when we can. But uh, for this video, guys, that is it. Thank you ever so much for joining us for this video. Four miles to level 10. Yes, to... i see you next time, guys. Peace. Really well so far. No, I shouldn't say that because I'll probably jinx myself and mess this up completely. Oh, look at that smoke! That smoke is being produced by the Zonda's arse. Uh, Zonda's arse? The Zonda's arse, apparently. The Zonda's arse tires. I want some of those tires. <laughs>